With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, consider the following plots of the rate constant versus 1 by T, right, which is the temperature for four different reactions. Which of the following orders is correct for the activation energies of these reactions? So this curve is plotted between log K and 1 by T. Now, according to the Arrhenius equation, we have K is equal to K e to the power minus E a by R t, where K is the rate constant, A is the frequency factor or the Arrhenius constant, E a is the activation energy, R is the gas constant and T is the temperature, right? Now, if we take natural log on both sides, we get ln K is equal to ln A minus E a by R t ln E, right? ln E is equal to 1. Okay, ln E is equal to 1. So, we can simply remove this term from here. Now, what do we get? If we convert it into log, what will we do? If we want to convert it into log with a base 10, we will multiply ln and it will become 2.303 log k. If you have to convert ln into log, you have to multiply 2.303 to it. So, it becomes 2.303 log. Now, this has a base 10. Okay, this will be again 2.303 log a minus e a by r t right so this equation will become log k is equal to log a minus e a divided by 2.303 r t so if we take 2.303 common this is the equation that we are going to get okay now from here if you compare this this will be y m x and c so this is the equation of a straight line and you can see that the curve is plotted between y which is log k and x which is 1 by t. So what is the slope? The slope of the curve is going to be minus e a by 2.303 r, right? The slope is minus e a upon 2.303 r. This is your slope. So from here, what do you understand? That the slope of the curve is directly proportional to the value of activation energy. More is the slope, more will be the activation energy. Now, how do you calculate the slope for a curve? You see the angle that it is making, right? This Suppose this is the angle made by A. This uh, curve, this straight line A makes an angle theta, that theta. Because uh, in terms of maths, in terms of, in, in mathematical terms, we calculate the slope as tan theta. So basically, it depends upon the angle that is made by the straight line, right? So this is the angle made. Now, if we talk about, uh, now this is the angle made by A. Similarly, if we talk about this uh, line C, right? then uh, the c will make a greater angle and the slope will be greater right and that's how you will be you can do it for all the uh, curves right so basically the angle that will be made by the straight line will determine which is the highest slope right so sorry this angle is for d this line is for d and this is the c line right so the c angle is obviously going to make a larger angle as you can see the c is uh, C, the C line makes the maximum angle. So from here, what do we understand? That as C makes the maximum angle, it has the maximum slope. And as it has the maximum slope, it is going to have the maximum value of E A. And there's only one option where, is, where the activation energy for C is greater. So actually the order will be E C, E A, E D and E B. Because if we talk about the curves D and B, we can't properly determine just by looking at it at it that which angle will be greater. But if we talk about the C curve, we can simply see that the angle that will be made by this line C is going to be the greatest. And therefore, it is going to have the greatest uh, slope and hence the greatest activation energy. So the correct answer for this question is going to be option 4. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.